these are the patch notes for update 502 or 5.02.21. Oh, update 3.21. There we go. That's what we were looking for. Alright, uh, since the release of Doom Tower, we've been looking for ways we need to improve or tweak it. While we're still working on the next full rotation, we have made a few changes to the current Doom Tower bosses to help make them a little easy to beat with gimmicks and a little more strategy oriented. Alright, so it sounds like they're making them harder. I guess that's fine. Here's what you need to know. The Nether Spider will now always attack with her second skill, Brood Beast, at the beginning of the round. Alright, well we can't get that far, so that's not really going to affect us anyway. Three of the current Doom Tower bosses, the Frost Spider, the Nether Spider, and the Magma Dragon, now all have a new passive skill. That skill is Almighty Strength. Damage from skills that scale based on enemy max HP include Poison, Dead Nation abilities, can exceed 10% of the boss's max HP when attacking the boss. Okay, that's going to be harder. Takes out a lot of things. Two of the current Doom Tower bosses, the Frost Spider and Nether Spider, also have another new passive skill. Here's that skill. Almighty Persistence. Alright, so that's something. I think that's 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 something that we need to watch out for. All third meters reduction effects are decreased by 50% when used against the boss. And actually I think that back. We have we beat the Nether Spider, didn't we? Yeah, that's right. We did beat her already. Um, and this went in effect yesterday or something like that. I just never got around to making a video of it. Uh I don't know why. I'm sorry. I don't know why. Uh, that's everything. Go ahead and try your challenges for yourself in the new rotation of the Doom Tower. As always, please let us know what you think of these changes on our official forums or over on our Discord. Good luck. Happy writing. Okay. Let's leave. Let's let's read some of these some of these funny funny comments. Quoted from Valkyrie: We want to change the current metas consisting of specific champs with the help of which only you can complete. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Yeah, which only you. Which only can you complete. That's some weird sounding words. Anyway, the DT challenges and make the pool of these viable champions more varied. How on earth did any of this patch make the pool of viable champions more varied? It took away options, which is fine, but it did not present any alternatives. Wow, you actually said you will do something and you did the opposite. Nether Spider will now be will now will be a blocking point for a lot of players that didn't have a specific chance for the fight. Great job. I love it. I really love it. YouTuber. YouTuber? They make Doom Tower so hard. I love when they release one champion defeat stage 21 and he buff faction harder too. Great job! You made DT bosses a lot harder for those without the most hard to get Legos by completely nullifying cheap heroes like Allure and Armager. Meanwhile, you provided nothing else to replace them. Well done. I mean, they didn't really, they didn't really nullify them, did they? I, mean, I saw people beat them yesterday. With, with Allure and Armager, mostly Armager. I mean, Allure I think is uh the wrong, the wrong affinity. I'm not sure, but you know. Anyway, ah yes, yeah, screwing the players. That's what this patch is all about. All right, sorry about that. The uh, cat knocked out my webcam there. So uh, yeah, I I am working on getting a mounted webcam for that specific reason. But uh, right now, I have to use a tripod, which is all I have. Anyway, continuing. Great change with scaling enemy HP-based damage skills. However, other changes changes may be problematic. Jimby. Oh man, every time I see that name, I think we're gonna get something bad. Flarium is trying to make it more fun so that you don't just destroy the whole game and everyone just cries about it. If you don't like the game, leave. If you do like the game, learn something and get better. I will say I am fairly new, so I'm not able to compete at all, but I don't want to play a game that is just click a button and never challenges me. Has he played Raid before? Should there be more incentive for these harder updates? Probably. I don't find it quite right that the game difficulty is just increased and nothing is added other than a challenge. Has he played Raid before? <laughs> but I love that they try to do what they think is best debatable and so far I think they tend to listen to try to keep us around his naivety is nice this freaking tower is every time more well oriented too sad thanks Flarium. are you kidding me this is such a horrible update even for you guys what is wrong with you uh, just 
just, uh, oh, um, we're just gonna ignore that, I guess. Wow, congrats. You just made FTP players cry more than they are. Stop thinking only about super late gamers who spent tons of money on the game and start thinking about normal people, which is 90% of the players you got in raid. How would we get on top of that tower? Okay. You said you will make the pool of viable champions more varied. Well, that was a lie. To make less champions viable is not making the DT more fun. Where is the challenge that lets us make or use more champions? I completely agree with all the comments here. Thanks, Plarium. And what other changes are that are there that you decided to not announce? Plarium, I really thought you guys turned the corner on making better business decisions. This just screwed the majority of players. Very nice update. Now I don't even bother and try Doom Tower anymore. Two years from now, content and when it comes, games, you make people give up. I guess that's what they want. Only new players and whales. Uh, I don't know why my extension, but that's that's a picture. Anyway, the problem continues to be shady and unclear communication. We will change Doom Tower, making the pool of viable champions more varied. Instead, you narrow the range of champions that can be used, and as a result, we have fewer viable champs to solve the task. There is not a single mention of the change. Also, made the floors between bosses. They change too. And they are not easier. Again, added another strain on the gamer. Krelius, last response response to the first FAQ. Will the requirements to get Leah change when you add the new faction? Her answer. Short answer, most probably yes. Come on, clear communication that cannot be misunderstood. It is not that hard. Whatever keeps the whale spinning, I guess. I was content to get to floor 100 normal. Don't think I'm going to be making it that far now. I spent a little when DT was first released. Then they made it harder. I quit spending. They made it harder again. The only annoying thing about it all is that Plarium acts like they do us a favor with this. The fanboys, like Jimby, just act like we should be grateful or leave. While I agree that DT is kind of meant for the in-game community, could have thrown the rest of us a bone and left normal stage alone or something. Just my two cents. Great job! As you said earlier, you wanted to focus on specific compositions rather than some champs that could do anything. Lowering of the decreased turn meter fact effect is in my opinion a great way to introduce what can Poison Spider really do because that strategy was to avoid fight with him at all. Now people must find a way to cleanse and whatever else as was intended from the start. So this is my, in my opinion perfect. Lowering the impact of enemy max HP heroes might be a little overkill. But we will see how it goes. I am really glad for these changes because Doom Tower shouldn't be a joke, but should be a tower that that only a few can climb to the end. P.S. I am free to play late game player as well. My last resent, reset was normal, completed, and floor 49 hard. And still, I am glad that they made changes as they said they will. Some people here think that everything should be easy for everyone, but that would, wouldn't be any fun. Have a great day. Awesome, so I couldn't clear easy already, but the whales could, so it's too easy now? Are you kidding me? Who's refunding all the silver and food I spent leveling tunes who can't do at all now? One star rating bombs on Google Play Store incoming. I put my money on it. Out of touch, money hungry. I'm playing Genshin. Alright, alright, so here's my take on this. Now, I can't do very good in the tower as it is, but... The tower is meant for in-game players. That's why it is being, how they put it, tailored for in-game players. It's not meant for early game or even mid game or even slightly, you know, mid to late game. It's meant for in-game. Like, this was entirely said, okay, you've got your 20 duplicates of this 100 Legos, now Put them to use. Make make some different things. Go out the box. Try to make up some new stuff. So in a way, I kind of see what they did, and I kind of agree with it. When I say kind of, here's the thing. I think, and this is one of those mushy things, right? All right, so because like, like I said, I, I agree with it, but at the same time, they should have done more to it. I don't feel like, instead of repeating this time, they should have had a whole new set of stuff. 
right? I mean, if you can learn from the first two months of this, the third month is probably not going to help. That's all I'm saying. So, I'm not expecting the next tower to be anything any better. It's going to be crap the first time it comes out. It might improve the second time, and it might improve the third time, but the first time it's going to be crap. But that's just my opinion. Um, as far as their actual actions that they tried, I think that was a good idea. You know, because they are, they're, they're trying to appease people like uh, Stu Gaming, Hell Hades, you know, these people who's got 70 Legos, right, and they, they can beat any part of the game, and they're having to create new challenges for themselves. If you're having to go out of your way to say, hey, how can I make this harder on me? Yeah, you might, you might be an in-game player. I'm just saying. Just saying.